I thought I said, keep it clean. I thought I said, in and out with no noise. I thought I said, no bodies. Is that what I got? Slim, is that what I got? No, what? I no. Instead, I got dirty. I got big noise. And not only did I get a body, I got a cop. I got a cop that you put a bullet in. It was dark. I mean, they came out of nowhere. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, I mean, it was craziness everywhere in there. Shut up. I'll tell you what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to not put a bullet in a cop. The good news is, I don't think it could be traced back to us. It was dark. So I think we should be in the clear. In the clear, huh? So let's see. My territory, my trucks. And they probably got your dumb ass on camera. Now tell me, son. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't put a bullet in your head right now. Because I'm loyal. I've always had your back, even before you were the boss. I've covered your ass plenty of times. And I'm slim. Maybe that don't mean much to you anymore. Yeah, maybe not. And remember, I know where those bodies are buried. Yo, wait, 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 I can fix this. I can probably fix this, honestly. Listen, I can't do nothing about the trucks, but I can wipe those cameras clean. Oh yeah, so how you gonna do that? I got a guy, a computer guy. Look, all he gotta do is tap into the, to the system and wipe the entire block out. And without the camera footage, they can't ID your trucks. So in a sense, he kind of right, you will be in the clear. And how do you know this guy? Long story, but dude owed me a paper from way back in the day. But if you need to, I can put that call in right now for you. Boss, it's time. Let's go. Kevin. Kevin. Yo, man, what are we doing, man? Come on, bro. Now, you're going to take care of this for me, right? I got you. I ain't going to let you down. I know you won't. Ace. Looking over some plays, so. I hope there's some one ads in them plays. Come on, T. <laughs> Here you go with the one ads again. I mean, do you not like the way we live? Look, babe, you have provided for us, but the NFL was a long time ago. And although you're trying to make a comeback, the phone just isn't ringing. Money's running out. We've already moved twice. I know things have been a little rough lately. I get that. But my agent says that all we need is one person to go down and camp. Just one person. Injuries happen all the time. And then just like that, this whole struggle is a distant memory. And everything's gonna be back to normal, it's gonna be good. We need two incomes. I need you to find a job. Damn, look, see, I'm, I'm doing everything that I can, okay? Like, I said things are gonna change. First and foremost, let's not forget, I'm a professional athlete. I'm not about to go work some damn nine to five or some, or some job that's beneath me or something like that. 
And don't forget I got a degree too. Why are you pressing me? Because I'm pregnant. What? I'm pregnant. Five weeks. And I want this baby. We just became a family of four. I need you to do whatever you gotta do. Fast food, my floors, just get a job. I'm gonna go check on the baby. What's up, kid, man? Thing is, man. man. Too long, man. How you been? Yeah, man, too long is right. How you been, man? I heard about the injury. Bad break. The worst. But you know me, I'll be all right. Cool, cool, man. That's a good deal. So, uh, what brings you down here? I came down here, man, to talk with you about how to make some money. A job. You want a job for me? <laughs> man, time must be hard for real. Man, it's getting there. I'm trying to make this comeback right now. But I just need some money to get there, you know what I'm saying, until I get that call. Come back. Right. Yeah, man. Plus the wife on me about making some more ends right now, so I gotta do something. Wait, wait, wife? Oh yeah. You married that chick you messed with in high school, huh? Come on, bro. <laughs> My bad, man. Calm down. I'm just messing with you. Yeah, man, we've been married for a while. And we got a beautiful baby girl too. Alright, I'll give you a shot. But look, Kev, you know how I work. Once you in, gotta pay a big price to get out. I understand. Well, I'll be in touch. All right, man. I appreciate you, man. I'll talk to you. Boss, can I ask you a question? Are you really gonna give this green dude a job? Yeah, man, I kinda feel bad for him, man, you know. He think them white folk about to let his hurt ass back in the league. Green or not, if he don't pull his weight, like a rabbit dog, I'm going to put his broke ass down. T, where you at? The kitchen. Yeah, come. Hey. <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> Why are you so happy? Because. Because what? Wait for it. I got a job. What? I got a job. Baby! Oh my gosh, what are you gonna be doing? Oh man, uh, not much. Just, you know, just working with an old friend. That's all. Just. Old friend who? Fell into this job. Just an old friend, babe. That's all. Do I know him? What's his name? Gil. Gil? Gil is his name. That thug Gil? Wait, wait, wait. You know Gil? I don't know him, but I know of him. What the hell is wrong with you? Wait, you told me to get a job. So I, I said did. get a job. Running around the streets with a gangster isn't a job. It's a death wish. What the hell is wrong with you? Baby, I'm only going to be in like a warehouse or driving or something. It's not that serious. You're taking it all the way up there. I am i don't even know exactly what I'm going to be doing yet. You have to quit. You have a wife and a baby and a baby on the way. It's either us or them. You choose. Ain't no choice if it comes down to y'all. Uh, it's it's y'all. Listen, I would never leave you. you well, you quit that job. I gotta go check on our baby. T, come on, bro. Mom's call. Yeah, she ain't cut you out, did she? No, nah, she was cool. Good man. Mom thinks he's gangster. She did call you Jerome. Jerome? Yeah, man, that's my name. Then where did Gil come from? Guillotine. Say what? Yeah, man, back in the day, I used to work for the guy that used to run this territory. Mm. He went to France and brought back this 50-foot guillotine from the 1700s. The dude was like some history buff or something. And uh, I worked my way up to being this number two man, and uh, one day, he was messing around, trying to Tell me about how they used to execute people by chopping their heads off. And the idiot put his head in the thing. So I pulled a lever. Sure enough, chopped his head smooth off. 
just like that, that was the boss. No pushback from the higher-ups in the organization? No, nah, man. I guess they figured if I can chop the boss's head off, this could be next. Hmm. I only had to worry about the bosses from the other territories. You had bigger fish to fry, huh? Ace, my man, there's always a bigger fish to fry. Right. What up, kid? You need something? So, uh, look, man, I was thinking about it, and um, I can't take this job, man. Toward the wife, he's working for me, huh? No, it's not like that. I got a lot on the line. I got a lot to lose, and I got to be there for my wife and kid, man. Man, Kev, we all got a lot to lose. See, the problem is, you already made a commitment. Now, I understand you might be a little nervous, so if you got to go get a drink, get some liquid courage, man, you do that. But Kev, I need you to be at that location and meet my guy. All right, now, leave me. I have business. doing here? Why are you here? I'm looking for Kevin. Is he here? No, he's not. And I need you to get out of our house. He? No, we don't want anything to do with you. Now leave. You know, uh, I heard you two are having money problems. Our finances are none of your concern. Now get out! You know, uh, if you were with a man like me, you wouldn't want for anything. And I mean, Make sure you tell Kevin I'm looking for him. Hey, you crossed the line, man. You went to my house? You talking to my wife? Come on, kid, man. Your time was up. I had to make sure you weren't punking out. Punking out? I told you I wanted out. I'm done with this and I'm done with you. And I told you. Big price to pay to get out. Okay. Okay. Kev. Kev, really? A gun? You know what you're doing with that thing, man? Look, man, I'm telling you right now, I'm willing to die to keep my family safe. But are they really safe, Kev? What are you talking about? It's like I said, I went to your house to make sure you weren't punking out. And after I spoke to your lovely wife, I left the guy there for insurance. Looks like I need it, huh? But one text for me, yeah. Well, you know. But what if I just show your ass right now? Huh? You could do that. But if my guy doesn't hear from me, he has one order. No survivors. You don't want to shoot me no more, kid? That's what I thought. See, kid? I own you like I own all these other fools. Now give that gun to Ace before you hurt yourself. Ace, take him somewhere to calm his ass down. Don't worry, I got you, G. I got you. Are you serious? I'm not gonna let you take my family. 